good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSX returned to the red zone today as it fell by 12.52 points or 0.20% today and settled at 6,190 points. Market turnover was BDT 1.99 billion which is a decrease of 12.71% compared to the previous trading day. Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Orion Infusion and Orion Pharma from the pharmaceutical sector, Progoti Life Insurance and Shenakolan Insurance from the insurance sector, Metro Spinning and Style Craft from the textile sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the NBFI sector posted the highest gain of 0.27%, while the banking sector registered the second highest gain of 0.11%. On the other hand, the pharmaceutical sector posted the highest loss of 0.31% today. Six pharmaceuticals companies were among the top 20 losers today. Islamic Commercial Insurance, Union Capital Limited and International Leasing and Financial Services registered the highest gain, while Munno Ceramic, Orion Infusion and Bangladesh Municipal Paper were the top losers. Recent market debutant, JMI Hospital Recusit, continued to extend its winning streak. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Far East Finance and Investment, Reliance won the first scheme of Reliance Insurance and Envoy Textiles increased significantly today, compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. The deposit in the non-bank financial institutions in BFIs declined by 3% year-on-year to BDT 41,585 crores in July to September. People are withdrawing their deposits from the financial sector to cope up with the rising prices. Moreover, lower interest rates offered by the NBFIs are also encouraging people to invest their money in other sectors. To attract people to deposit their money in the financial sector, the interest cap must be withdrawn. The housing sales dropped as the price of flats went up by 20% to 30%. The rising price of the construction materials are the main contributor to the rise of flat prices. Moreover, people's lower purchasing power due to the ongoing inflation is also causing less home sales. If the prices of construction materials continue to rise like this, the price of flats may further rise by 20% to 30% by the next year. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Eller Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.